Hello, welcome to Reflexive Moon Tarot. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm Sarah, and I will be hosting this reading for the sign Virgo. Let's go with Virgo. So, Virgos, what's going on in your life? might be I want to say lazy but you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing right now perhaps people see you as not doing or you might be concerned with what you should be doing as opposed to what you are doing now let's go with that it's a valid concern you might also be worried that people are not, like you're not being recognized for what you're doing, which is causing you to call into question what it is that you're doing. Also valid. Let's see what is overlooking the situation. Also, please don't mind the background noise. We got some... busy stuff going on upstairs so it looks like overlooking the situation you miss you miss family you miss friends you miss people that you know people that you've been around for a long time you're feeling like you want some type of kindred spirit someone who knows you that like you want to so it doesn't necessarily mean that you want to be around somebody that no, that's known you for a really long time. You just want to be around somebody that you feel that with. Like an old soul kind of friend. Someone that you've known for maybe past lifetimes. Or someone who you just like vibe with as a kindred spirit. And it could be romantic. It could be... Family, it could be for like chosen family or friends, but that's that's what you that's what you crave at this time. And it looks like you're you're not like you're just not satisfied. So how can we like what is going on within ourselves, within our subconscious? I wouldn't say that um, you're attracting this because you are happy. You have a lot of wish fulfillment energy happening. Like there's a lot going on for you that is good and emotionally fulfilling. Your spirit knows that it's in the right place, that it's on track and that it has love. So that's good. I would say then, you, you I would say this probably means that you want romance or a relationship like a partnership however romance looks for you someone who's got your back that's when this card is upright that love is someone who's got your back as well in your past you know you've been robbed of some joy you were struggling to feel good, to feel happy, struggling with consistency, struggling with sharing your light or connecting with your light. And we have the King of Cups reversed and the Hanged One. So... There's somebody in your life, you know, like despite this um, feeling of emotional fulfillment, it could be because you're spending some time away from a person who's really emotionally manipulative, but, or someone who really just sort of uses their intuition to, for personal gain, as opposed to balancing it out for personal gain and to offer to, um, to their community. So you're going to be dealing with this person soon, someone who really irks you, someone who really triggers you. And 
a change in perspective, I think, is like just having a new perspective is what's really going to work for you. This attitude, it's going to be tough trying to see things differently or trying to develop or sit with the new level of tolerance that you've built, that you've come into. And I don't know, it's almost just like saving face just so you can go through the motions to do what you need to do to get yourself forward, to move forward and to move on. This guy, I feel heavy, like this feels very heavy. It's almost like um, you don't want to have to deal with this person. It's going to be, be sort of like um, tied down to it. And, and maybe this person's always going to leave you hanging and you know that. You're never going to be emotionally satisfied. You're always going to see this person in a way that is... That leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Distasteful. They are distasteful. They have no interest in... I don't know if they have any interest in empathy. That could be it. But they also they certainly don't have the capacity for it. And it's, it could be that they're, it's their lack of interest. Uh, they could be selfish. They could be a narcissist on some level. I would say yes, most likely. Um, the way that others see you, though, is that you are brilliant and have a very powerful mind. So within your environment, this influence is like you're surrounded by that raw, knowledge-seeking, mental, strengthening type of energy. And others see this within you. And, and I, I imagine that um, you're surrounded by people who are like, you're reflecting that, right? Um you want to be like a mental boss. You hope to find somebody who is there for you, who has a solid understanding of logic and reason. If this is you manifesting this within yourself, it's bossing up and being... This is more like... This is the, the warrior. Like So the King of Wands is also kind of a warrior, but this King of Swords is a mental warrior. Um like a warrior of the mind, a warrior of, I would say dreams can come into play with, with, um, with this king, but it's more so about logically examining your dreams and ruling out whether or not, like how they have an impact on you and how you can manifest them. So being emotionally intelligent as well as at the core of this king's gifts. So having a solid understanding of emotional needs and not over intellectualizing emotions, processing them, but feeling them and processing them at the same time. This is a really solid spread. I like this. Solid reading. Spread sounds a little bit like it's insinuating something. <laughs> All right. So the world. It's reversed. Okay. So this can be several things. I would say that it might be... It might be tricky. I, I would say that like some planetary influences are not really in your favor. Um, and also dealing with um, dealing with trauma, I find is also a part of the world for me. That's my interpretation of it, because it has to do with like location and cycles and you know, like the shifting of the energies, but also moving through like annual cycles of grief, for example, annual cycles uh, or biannual cycles of, you know, of change. Like when you think about that uh, equinox type of energy where you can measure time that way. And I think though that this has to do with trauma and grief and getting over a cycle for so so like for the purpose of acknowledging it has it been a year or are you like are you paying attention to when things have happened to you when you've moved through lessons in life or when 
sort of catastrophic things have happened to you? What, um, what time of year are you dealing with this? And what, if you feel like you're going through something or you're emotionally reacting or being triggered by something, did something happen to you around this time of year in the past? So I think it's important that you acknowledge this because if you're not going to acknowledge it, it's, it's going to leave you maybe with a sense of emptiness, but just not having dealt with it. So it's really important when you are taking a trauma-informed lens, dealing with issues and relationships to, to like be honest with yourself about that. So I'm not sure what you're like, I'm not sure what's going on with you, Virgo, but I really hope that that you're making sure that you're in the right place at the right time and that you're also connecting with the earth. Get outside. If I mean, it might be getting cold for you. So, you know, putting your bare feet on the ground might not be an option, but really acknowledging how your body is connected to the ground and sitting with that really super important because you're going to end up this is interesting so money might not be like you might not have enough money to be as generous as you'd like you might be like you're going to be at a deficit if you don't if you don't do this work and I don't know if you feel like um, it could also be cheap with your energy too. And that's sometimes that's sometimes that's necessary. Like if you don't have the energy to be generous, but this issue that you are dealing with right now, if you don't deal with it effectively, it's going to affect your capacity for generosity. Um, you want to be there for people. You want to give to people instead of taking from them. Do not, don't take from people. It's going to, don't take from people who are already at a deficit. It's, it's going to, it's going to impact your karma. If you believe in karma, it's going to impact. It's just going to leave a bad, a bad impact on. This is heavy. We also have the Queen of Wands, who's very jealous and insecure. This Queen of Wands is a fire sign, most likely a person in your life who you really struggle to deal with. So there's a lot that's centered in this issue with this Queen who is a person in your life. Just make sure that you are not giving too much of yourself or you will be at a deficit. I don't think this has anything to do with you being cheap whatsoever. This has everything to do with you making sure that you have enough for you. So with that, Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this reading, and we will catch you next time. Take care and bye for now.